As we start a new year, one of your biggest business priorities should be cybersecurity. Don't just leave it to chance and don't just hope that your business won't become a victim. That kind of attitude will land you in serious trouble. Hackers are getting more skilled. They're getting better at hacking into company networks. They're getting better at deceiving people and they're getting better at stealing money. I witness this devastation on a weekly basis. And trust me when I say this, prevention is definitely better than the cure. Cybercrime is affecting businesses of all sizes in all locations around the world. So don't think that you're too small to be a victim. In this video, I'm gonna outline my top 10 tips to help keep your business secure this year. I'm gonna break these tips down into different sections. First, we're gonna talk about how to protect your computers and your laptops. Then we're gonna talk about how to protect your users. Then we're gonna look at a couple of tips for cloud security. And finally, we're gonna look at a couple of tips how you can test your cyber security. So without further ado, let's begin. My first tip is to make sure that you have a standard company build on all your computers and your laptop. People should only have the applications installed on their computers that they need to be able to do their jobs. They shouldn't be allowed to install their own applications, things like Spotify and WhatsApp, unless they need it for their jobs. And when you buy new computers, make sure that the first thing you do is actually wipe them. I know that sounds a little bit strange, but when you buy new computers, they come with a lot of added software, which is called bloatware, installed on them. If these bits of software aren't maintained, they can become a cybersecurity risk. So the first tip is to have a standard company build and make sure that you wipe all new devices that you introduce into your business. My second tip is to use robust and modern antivirus software. Now when I talk about modern day antivirus software, I mean security software that is intelligent enough to deal with the modern day threats, things like ransomware. There's a lot of antivirus programs around that doesn't have the intelligence to be able to spot things like ransomware. So what you do need is something called next generation antivirus software. The product that I recommend is Sophos Intercept X Advance. I'll put a little link below this video. So my second tip is to make sure that you're using modern day antivirus software. My third tip is to make sure that you filter the websites that people are visiting and you can do this for free. People will often click on links that take them to websites, sometimes by accident. These websites can sometimes contain malware and that might infect the computer. What you can do is use a free DNS filtering service called Quad9. This is really easy to set up on each computer and it will protect your users from browsing to malicious websites. And because it's free, you must do it. My fourth tip for securing your devices is to make sure that you're regularly updating all your computers and laptops. When you get that notification on your computer that it's time to update, it might be tempting to ignore it. But outdated systems are more susceptible to cyber attacks. So make sure that you keep all your devices up to date. My fifth tip for securing your devices is to make sure that all your devices have BitLocker enabled. BitLocker is free with Windows 10 and Windows 11. And what it does is encrypt your computer hard drive. So if you lose your computer, like a laptop, then people can't get the data on the hard drive. It's secure. And because BitLocker is free, you must do it. So my fifth tip is to make sure that all your devices are encrypted with BitLocker. So there are my five tips to help you protect your computers and your laptops. Now we're gonna move on to my top two tips to help you protect the users inside of your business. The two biggest areas that your users need help with is with their passwords and their cyber security knowledge. Unfortunately, you can provide tools in both these areas to help keep your people secure. So my first tip is to provide everyone with a business grade password manager. Now, unfortunately, the health of most people's passwords isn't very good. And people with bad passwords can become a cybersecurity weakness for your business. 
So the only way to combat this is to give them a password manager. And the password manager that I recommend is from Keeper Security. My second tip is to make sure that you train all your people with cyber awareness training. The person using the computer is your business's weak link when it comes to cyber security. The problem is most people don't have adequate cyber awareness training and that's not their fault, it's a modern day threat. But you can help train your people with cyber awareness training and the tool that I recommend is from Know Before. Next, let's talk about the two tips that you can implement to help with your cloud security. Now, most businesses use some form of cloud computing for their business. They might have email in Microsoft 365 or Google. They might have the files in Microsoft 365 or Dropbox or something like that. The mistake that most people make is that when you move your data to a cloud provider, the cloud provider will look after all the security on your behalf. No, it is still your responsibility. My first tip is to do an audit of all the cloud applications that you use. So you might use Microsoft 365 for email, you might use Xero for accounting, you might use HubSpot for CRM. Once you've done an audit of all these applications, have a look at where you haven't got two-factor authentication applied. Two-factor authentication is included with all these cloud applications, but you have to go in and enable it. So make sure that 2FA is enabled on all your cloud applications. My second tip when it comes to cloud security is to make sure that you've got an independent backup of all your data that resides in the cloud application. Yeah, that's right, it might seem a little bit strange. Surely all your data is in the cloud and it's been looked after. Well, no, you're still responsible for your data. What happens if that cloud application goes down? What happens if it gets hacked and all your data's gone? You need to have an independent backup of your data, whether it's in the server in your office or in the cloud. So that's my second tip. Make sure you back up your cloud data. And finally, we move on to our last section, and that are two tips that you can implement to test the cybersecurity in your business. My first tip here is to put your business through the Cyber Essentials Scheme. Now this is a UK based scheme which is backed by the government here in the UK. It will test your business against some basic cyber controls and it tells your customers and your partners that you take cyber security seriously. So you must put your business through the Cyber Security Scheme in 2022. Now, if the Cyber Essential Scheme is too basic for you, then my second tip in this section might be beneficial. Why not put your business through penetration testing every 12 months? This is where a cyber security professional will try and hack into your network. It will test your network for vulnerabilities. They can then report back to you and your IT team who can make the changes needed to help your business become more secure. So there you have it my 10 top tips for helping keep your business secure in 2022. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon.